The Optilum drug-coated balloon is a minimally invasive urethral stricture treatment developed in response to demand for improved solutions for endoscopic stricture management. This proprietary technology combines balloon dilation and drug placement, is well tolerated by patients, and has shown promising early data in clinical trials. Paclitaxel is a proven antiproliferative drug that has been used in chemotherapy since the early 1990s and percutaneous coronary intervention since 2004. Since that time, it has been effectively used in millions of patients worldwide in various applications. As a mitotic inhibitor, Paclitaxel's mechanism of action works by preventing cell division and migration, stopping new tissue growth and fibrotic scarring that leads to stricture recurrence. Optilum is used to treat patients with bothersome urinary symptoms associated with anterior urethral stricture. It is designed to be used in adult males in combination with other endoscopic adjunctive therapies, i.e. DVIU or balloon dilation. The Optilum drug-coated balloon is currently being studied in multiple clinical trials. Initial two-year safety and efficacy data demonstrated a 70% success rate, 250% increase in peak flow rate, significant decrease in IPSS scores, and a low retreatment rate of 19% in a challenging patient population. To help achieve optimal outcomes when using Optilum, a retrograde urethrogram rug, is recommended prior to the procedure in order to confirm the stricture length and location. The Optilum procedure is designed to be performed under cystoscopic guidance to include fluoroscopy if needed. When preparing for an Optilum procedure, the operating room should be set up as if performing a standard balloon dilation. The following specific equipment should also be available. Select a balloon diameter that is slightly greater than the diameter of the healthy urethra adjacent to the distal edge of the stricture. The most commonly used balloon diameter in the bulbar urethra is 30 French. 18 and 24 French balloons are also available, with all diameters available in 3 cm lengths. Select a balloon length that extends approximately half a centimeter to 1 cm beyond the stricture on both sides. The Optilum device is packaged in a double pouch. The outer pouch is for protection from light, not from sterility. The package should be opened and immediately discarded. The inner pouch should then be opened to allow transfer of the Optilum to the sterile field. Do not soak the device in saline or water while preparing the patient. The Optilum procedure is similar to traditional balloon dilation, making it easy to learn and perform. To begin the procedure, prep the Optilum catheter for use by purging air from the system. A standard inflation device with pressure gauge rated for at least 15 atmospheres is filled with saline or contrast and attached to the Optilum device. Evacuate air by drawing back plunger on inflation device. Once air is removed, turn stopcock to off to prevent additional air from entering the system. In order to facilitate smooth passage over the guide wire, Flush the guide wire lumen with water or saline. Position guide wire with the flexible tip coiled in the bladder. If the stricture is too tight to allow the guide wire to cross, filiforms and followers or pollock ureteral catheters may be utilized. Remove and discard the balloon protector from the tip of the optilum. Minimize handling and do not touch the balloon. Do not wipe the balloon with dry, wet, or lubricated gauze, or any solvent which could damage the integrity of the drug-coated balloon. The Optilum may be safely passed through the 6 French working channel of a rigid cystoscope, or passed alongside a flexible cystoscope. Use the cystoscope to visually guide the placement of the balloon. Position the Optilum device across the stricture with the cystoscope placed distal to the balloon. Ensure that at least one half centimeter of the balloon extends distally beyond the end of the stricture, with the midpoint of the balloon aligned as close as possible to the midpoint of the stricture, 
This will enhance the stability of the balloon during inflation and may help ensure uniform optimal dilation. For proper drug delivery to the target stricture, allow the coating to hydrate in the urethra for a minimum of 60 seconds prior to inflation. If utilizing fluoroscopy, check that the balloon's radiopaque markers are in the correct position. These markers are located on the shoulders of the balloon, indicating where the drug-coated section of the balloon begins and ends. Filling with contrast solution allows for fluoroscopic confirmation of stricture dilation and identification of any significant necking across the stricture segment. Ensure that the stopcock is set to the open position. Slowly inflate the balloon to the rated burst pressure using the inflation device. During inflation, the surgeon or surgical assistant should gently apply traction on the optalum catheter to prevent balloon migration. The rated burst pressure should not be exceeded as inflation beyond the rated burst pressure may cause the balloon to rupture. Refer to product label for rated burst pressures. During inflation, a drop in pressure may be seen at the point where the stricture yields. When this happens, increase pressure until rated burst pressure is achieved again. Maintain pressure for a minimum of five minutes or until desired dilation is achieved. To optimize stricture dilatation, inflation times of greater than five minutes may be performed at the discretion of the surgeon for particularly dense fibrous strictures. Deflate balloon by slowly withdrawing the inflation device handle and aspirating the balloon. When the balloon is completely deflated, withdraw the balloon slowly. If slight resistance is felt during removal, gently rotate the balloon catheter to help the balloon fold around the catheter shaft to facilitate withdrawal. Leave guide wire in place to potentially assist with Foley catheter placement. Do not perform a retrograde urethrogram or a cystoscopy after the balloon is withdrawn. Doing so could adversely affect the amount of paclitaxel transferred into the urothelium and subsequently lead to suboptimal results. After use, dispose of product in accordance with accepted medical practice and applicable local regulations. Insert a 12 to 14 French lubricious Foley catheter and leave in place for a minimum of two days or per standard of care, whichever is greater. The patient should abstain from any type of sexual activity, including masturbation, for two weeks post-procedure. Men should wear a condom during sex for 30 days post-treatment. Men with sexual partners of childbearing potential should use a condom for at least 90 days post-treatment. By combining a simple, effective balloon dilation with localized delivery of paclitaxel, a proven anti-proliferative, Optolume aims to break the stricture cycle. Visit us online at www.eurotronic.com for more information.